Hi, hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I figured it'd be fun to do like a self-care Sunday, get ready with me for work. So if that's what you wanna see, stay tuned. Yes, I'm still wearing my makeup from yesterday, but that's why self-care Sunday is so important. I need help. Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm so excited. I found my actual vlogging tripod. So my life's just gotten like 10 times easier. But I now have to go back out to my car to get my actual tripod for when I vlog in my bathroom. All right, now that I got my makeup all off and my face is dry, because that's important in these directions, we're gonna try out the e.l.f. Beauty Shield. It's a magnet, it's the recharging magnetic mask kit. So I don't even know if they still actually make these. I got it because it was discontinued at the store I work at. And I was like, cool, why not? I'm also just very intrigued by this all. So I'm like, what, what is this? So in this picture right here, how can you not be curious about that? She's literally, literally using a magnet to take off the face mask, like, I just don't know how this is safe for your skin. I feel like they're always like, don't play with magnets when I was a kid. I had um, these like little tin, so, like can things, but they were big. They were probably like, I don't know, like they were pretty big. And they had a lot of my smaller toys in them. And because they were, you know, tin, they were magnetic. And I would actually play with magnets a lot on them. So, to be told that I can put magnets on my face and it's safe feels like a lie. But we're gonna try this out. It says it's supposed to be really good. It's uh, antioxidant powered. It helps protect against environmental aggressors like pollutants, dust, and smoke. And it's formulated without parabens, sulfates, phthalates, phthalates, and alcohol. But it says the magnetic tool and iron-based formula work together to visibly lift away, I can tell, visibly lift away surface impurities and minimize the appearance of pores. Your skin is left feeling soft and recharged for a smooth, makeup-ready canvas. So let's test it out. The directions say, with the scoop inside the magnetic tool, I'm assuming this is the scoop because it kind of looks like other applicators that I have for masks. But with the scoop inside of the magnetic tool, apply mask to a clean, dry face, avoiding the eye area, and leave on for five to 10 minutes. I do have to say I am low-key obsessed with the packaging of this. I love how e.l.f. with their skincare, they just try to look as bougie as they can, even though it's like, I paid $10 for this, and maybe not even that. Ooh, magnets for your face. Okay, so yeah. Ugh, I don't know if I should use my silicone brush or not. I guess I'll just use this. It's weird, this just looks like a charcoal mask. But they're like, it's magnets. It's got like a weird metal-y scent to it. This is well, I'm gonna finish putting this on my face and then in about five to 10 minutes, we'll come back to test taking it off with this part because I'm, I'm very intrigued. Okay guys, time to take this mask off. There's literally no directions onto what the magnet covers are. I'm assuming they're these because they look like they go over this tool. So we'll see how I feel. This makes my skin good. A close up going. Oh, that's weird. Oh, that's weird. That feels weird. This is, ooh, look at it. It's so weird. Ooh, this is just so weird to me but I also kind of love it. So these covers definitely don't last very long. Like I can't pull anything else off with this. So I have to use another one. Another one. Oh my goodness, look at This is such a strong... Whoa, that was on my face. Imagine just taking a magnet from your fridge and using that to take this mask off. And I'm gonna use another one to just finish cleaning it off. 
And there's just like uh, these little pieces that it didn't pick up. I knew that this was gonna happen. It was gonna take more of these covers than what they were saying. Just because they so quickly went from. You can use it one to two times to just, you have to throw it away when you're done. Well, now it's not picking any of this stuff up. Okay, so my thoughts on this mask are, it does leave your skin feeling like nice and smooth, like you've got a primer on it. So that's very interesting to me. The mask removal process was a little bit of a pain in the butt. It took like three times as many covers than it said they would, because I used literally three. And I still had to go through and finish taking everything off with this without a cover. And that was, um, it was a little bit of a pain to clean off too. But I kind of like it. We'll see how I feel after a couple more times of trying this out though. So I know it's said that it's ready for just makeup, but we're still gonna do skincare because that's important. So I'm gonna go in with my Mario Badesco Facial spray with aloe, chamomile, and lavender. Just gonna let that soak in. And my moisturizer I'm using today is still the Waterful uh, Gel Cream Moisturizer by Ulta Beauty. It's got hyaluronic acid and algae extracts. All right, and while I let this mask, or not this mask, my moisturizer set in, I'm going to just gather all of my supplies for the day that I use to get ready. All right, I think this is everything I'm gonna be using for today. I've got primer, foundation, my tools, primer for my eyes for when I do my eyeshadow, cheeks, eyeliner. Oh, I need to get my mascara. I'm gonna go grab that real quick. All right, I'm hoping we have enough time to finish getting ready before my camera dies, so we'll go super quickly. First, I'm gonna use my All Nighter Ultra Glow Face Primer by Urban Decay. I really like this because with my Maybelline powder foundation, it makes it really stay on. It's like the best primer I have for powder foundation. Now let's go in with this super stay full coverage Maybelline powder foundation. I just realized you could get more of these exact applicators at Ulta. And I was like, cool, and then I didn't buy them, but I think I'm gonna get them. This one's nasty, and I washed it. It didn't really do anything, so. I mean, it did, but why would I wash it when I can just buy a new one? Now we're gonna go in. I think we're gonna fill my eyebrows today. No, we're not, because I'm too lazy to go get them. So we're just gonna go in with this Wet n Wild concealer. I use it as primer for my eyeshadows. It's very nice. And since I'm using the Kylie Jenner eyeshadow palette, it's necessary to prime your eyes. First, like I said, we're gonna use the Kylie Jenner palette. I'm just going in with the color Rose. It's this one right here. I'm gonna just splatter that all over the lid. Oh, but nice and pink. Well, it's nice and pigmented up close. Now we're gonna do the other eye real quick. We're not done though. We're not done with this look though. And we're gonna do the same thing over here, you know with rosé. Perfect. Now we're gonna go and I'm gonna top it off with this Wet n Wild. It's actually a bronzer. It's their Mega Glow Loose Highlighting. Oh no. It's a highlighter. I thought it was a bronzer. But I like to use it to top off my eyeshadow looks because it adds a nice shimmer. Okay, so it just stopped recording. Um, I'm applying I'm applying this Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighter because it adds like this really nice sparkle effect to my eyeshadow look. I personally think it's pretty and I get compliments on it all the time. So, boom. <laughs> I don't know what that was. It sucks because like I said, I don't really know where this stopped recording. So hopefully 
nothing too important. But I don't think there's anything important that you're really missing out on anyways, so. Now we're gonna top off my eyes. Well, we're not gonna top them off, but we're gonna finish the look with some eyeliner. I just found the secret to doing eyeliner. I used to be really good at it. And now I'm not terrible, but I'm not the best. And it's like, if you start, oh no, I, I did that wrong. Oh. If you start from the outside and then work your way in, it makes it so much easier. But don't do it like this. Do it like this. All right, here's the finished eyeliner look. This side is perfect. I'm gonna have to try to fix this side later and pray that it works. We'll see. I guess next we'll throw in some blush because I have it here. I chose it. I got it ready to wear today, so let's wear it. To finish everything off, we're gonna go in with my Benefit Their Real Mascara. I'm obsessed with this mascara. I'm also very depressed that it's $27. We're, we're working through that because they honestly make a difference. Okay, like we're gonna do a comparison now that I finished putting them on or putting one on. Putting mascara on one of my eyes. Look at that and then Come on guys, you tell me, you're telling me that there's no difference there because there's a difference there. And I'm almost willing to pay $27 to get that difference. I got this as a gift. That's why I'm like almost willing to pay $27 and you're probably like, well, you have it. Didn't you already pay $27 for it? No, but I just about might in the future. I do have to say, and just kind of get my, make my eyelashes clumpy sometimes, so. I'm gonna go get dressed and then we'll do a whole like final reveal after I finish everything off and do my hair and all that fun stuff. All right guys, I'll show you my outfit for the day. I just went with this. I like these pants, you can't, cause they've got this like little bow tie. They're like the, I don't know what the top's called, but they're cute. <laughs> so yeah, that's what I'm wearing today. I have to end the vlog here because I have to go make food and like literally leave. I gotta eat and run. So thanks for tuning in to today's vlog. Let me know what you think about that elf magnet mask because I'm still pretty perplexed by it. I like it, but it also makes me uncomfortable. Please tell me I'm not the only one. All right guys, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.